By 2018, Uganda needs to increase its power generation currently at about 380 megawatts if it's to meet a 10% annual growth in demand. Two hydropower generation plants are currently being developed, the Karuma and Simba power plant. Together, they will generate about 788 megawatts of energy. Power generators say the country needs to ramp up electricity generation, otherwise there will be severe shortfalls. We are relying on the numbers that we have seen, the prospects that we have seen in terms of investment, that the country will be able to, to take off much of the generation that we are dealing with uh, in terms of development at the moment. We are forecasting a spike in terms of consumption in the period 2018 to 2020, mainly driven by the spinning of effects of the, the oil sector and all the adjoining related industries that are going to, to span out of that. Uganda expects a spike in consumption of electricity between 2018 and 2020. Regulators forecast this will be driven by a growth in oil sector and other industries. The coming into production of the oil refinery in 2018 will also create an additional demand of about 400 megawatts. And the plan is to have that self-contained self, uh, because the, the byproducts of, of the oil refinery are also going to be used in the energy generation. So you're looking at 150 megawatts in the medium term, but an addition of 400 megawatts, and much of that is going to be generated through, through the oil residual product. Industries in Uganda consume 60% of power generated. The other 40% goes towards household and other users. Last year, Uganda commissioned a 250 megawatt Bujagali power dam to boost the severe deficit the country was facing. Uganda also generates additional power from thermal and mini hydro plants. Plans to generate solar power are underway and the energy ministry says if there are any excesses, then it will be exported to neighboring countries. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.